Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm For Your Life, the amazing zombie apocalypse game where it appears we are actually busy running a restaurant at the end times of the world. So rather than freaking out and having zombies uh, coming at all angles at us just yet, we're actually cashing in on the fact that we happen to be one of the few people in the area that has plenty of food thanks to our awesome crops that we have here. And we're turning those crops into some delicious food that people can come and eat in our refurbished church now turned into a restaurant and once they come in and enjoy the food then they can turn over any of the parts and other useful scraps they've happened to scavenge out in the wilderness which we can actually go into i'm a little bit nervous about that we won't go ju there just yet but let's go ahead and introduce ourselves hey i'd like some baked corn uh all right all right so this man wants some uh some good baked corn and then he'll give me some electronic scrap and i want the other scrap that he's got as well so let's offer him uh not some milk because i don't think i have any milk what about baked corn and then we'll give him uh, a, a few dry pieces of corn for the road too so there we go let's make it our offer all right done all right, and now we need to serve the man up some baked corn, actually, which we can actually train ourselves to make faster, which cracks me up because we have like corn ninja. Ha ha! Ha ha! Look at me! Yes! All right, come on. There we go. All right, I'm on it. Nope. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, 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 tomato. We're not making tomato soup here. Yes. All right. So there we go. We're getting a little bit closer to three star recipe on our baked corn. But we'll go ahead and cook up some baked corn for him. I need to go get myself some corn uh, from over here and then bring it over to cook it. And the sun is setting, sir. Do you want do you want somewhere to rest for the night? Because I'm kind of concerned, you know. It's a little bit dangerous being out here. I'm not going to lie. There's sometimes zombies. Grandpa may be one of them. I'm not sure. Not sure if I like you enough to rescue you from Grandpa. If he, um, if he happens to decide to take a, a bite out of your brain, I'm going to be honest here, sir. I don't really know you that well. So it's nothing personal. Just, you know, I, I, I'm still pretty attached to Grandpa. And if he's pretty harmless, maybe I can just kind of tie him up like a hog and leave him in a pen or something like that. I mean, if anybody could decide not to actually remove their deceased, like, family member, I'm pretty sure it would be a farmer, because a farmer could probably just tie him up and, like, leave him somewhere pretty safe, versus, like, your average, average city person, city folk, what do they know after all? All right, so I don't know if we're gonna have a bunch of zombies and I kind of want to make another fence, but I haven't been told to make a fence. Oh no, and I need to take care of my little farm. And actually, let's see if we can come over and make some sprinklers. All right, sir, so if we want to make sprinklers, I actually need a lot more pieces. Oh my gosh, I need so much more scrap. So I need some more normal scrap and I need some more electronic scrap and that'll make, uh, I need five more pieces to make a tent. I can, however, make a crate. So let me go ahead and make a crate. Dun dun dun! And now I can harvest up the food faster! I'm so glad! That'll really help out. Look at that! Oh, thank goodness. So it looks like I can get four pieces at a time with this. And I do have some seeds, so I should probably go ahead and take care of those seeds. You know, I really, I want a gate. And actually, I think the other guy is willing to teach me how to use a gate now that I think about it. So we might go talk to him in a second. And I might build myself a little barricade. Because I don't know about y'all who are just standing out under a street lamp, no less. I'm really, I'm not sure about that, sir. But I want a proper, like, gate. I want some protection. I don't feel very happy to be so exposed to the, uh, the elements when there's zombies out and about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, put it down. It's, it's, no, it's grandpa. You guys, why? Why does it have to be grandpa? Here he comes. Oh, he's coming back to the farm. He's coming back to the farm, but it's too late. It's too late. Get out of here, grandpa. I'm sorry. I know, I know. <laughs> this used to be your land. You put your heart and soul into it, but get out of here, grandpa. This isn't your home anymore. Oh, Grandpa. So sad. I can't believe I just chucked. Oh, where's my... No, where's my... I need my watering can. I'm just putting the water on the ground. That's not going to do any good. Uh, so sad. Grandpa, why? All right. Well, we, we, we told Grandpa to get out of here. Maybe he'll come back. I don't have a little... I wonder if I could have built some sort of little pin and like isolated him in it. That would have been kind of fun. 
I mean, he probably would have eventually figured out how to get out of the pen, but it would have been a good challenge. Oh, well, I'm sure Grandpa would have just wanted to return to the earth and, uh, you know, fertilize the soil. I, I'm actually running a little bit low on fertilizer, so I'm sure that's what he actually, that's what he would have wanted out of life. Oh, man, watering all these things takes a while. Let's definitely make sprinklers a priority. And if we can get this guy, I think he can become like a farmhand or something. He's kind of a jerk. Maybe I should chuck some corn at his head, too. But if I can go ahead and get him on our side, then I think we can actually gain, um, we can actually gain some helpers. So we might have to go over. I don't think anybody comes at night, uh, clearly. And any, I don't think I want to feed anybody who shows up at night, to be honest, because they're probably zombies. But let's go ahead and grab this potato seed and I'll go ahead and plant it. I am almost out of fertilizer though. So, I mean, I've got a bunch of rocks and I do have here, let's go ahead and actually can I put this in the crate? I can. Let's collect up some apples. Looks like I can get three apples at a time. So these apples are pretty useful. They fall off. And you guys told me, make sure I collect the apples. Hey, hey, come here. Make sure I collect the apples because I will want the apples for making into apple juice, which would be very useful. All right. Oh, look, another one just fell down. They're adorable. All right, and look, I even have some corn growing over here. What a wonderful morning harvest. Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, just looking over where he was and like I just chucked things at his head and told him to get. Get, Grandpa, get. All right, and then let's come talk to her and we'll see what we've got. And then, oh, I guess I need to clean up the plate. All right, what is she selling now? Red watering cans. I'm not sure what those do, but I do need a lot of fertilizer. So let me go ahead and grab like 12 fertilizer. All right, lady, look, we're going to have to come to some sort of agreement here, okay? You can, No, you, don't, you can't have the dishes. You can't have the dishes. I need those. You can have a few corn, though. You can have my apples, and you can have... Come on, a few corn. Okay, now we're uneven again. So let's trade out for some tomato. Aw, oh, man, come on. <laughs> Be reasonable, woman. I'm trying to keep us all alive, okay? How about if I take two tomato seeds and then give you a potato? How about two potatoes? Okay, what about a rock? This is a shiny rock. This rock's extra shiny. How about a little bit of lumber? Oh, come on. Come on, woman. Work with me here, please. <laughs> what about, okay, another potato. Oh, dang it. Now we're, now we're back at where we were. All right. What about a little bit more fur? Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to take the hit on one of these, aren't I? Aren't I? What if I ease up on the wood a little bit? There we go. So a little bit of fertilizer and some tomato seeds for a good chunk of my fresh crops and some rocks. I don't know what you're going to do with the rocks, woman, but that's fine. Okay, let's come over. I've got some fresh corn. We can put that away. And while it is uh, daytime, I guess I should go ahead and maybe explore some of the edges of the territories. So, hmm... I'm going to go ahead and dig another little spot for the tomatoes really quickly. And then I'll get the tomatoes put into the ground. And once those are in, there we go. There we go, little guys. So you go ahead and work on growing into big, strong tomatoes. And then let me go ahead and gather up this corn because baked corn is extremely popular. There, you know, there would be something really calming and kind of homey about being able to eat baked corn in the zombie apocalypse, I think. And a little bit of fertilizer, just for a few of the things that need it. And we'll grab this corn and put it away. And we'll see if I have any, do I have any uh, customers coming in? What should we name this place? I feel like this, come on, you need to have like some sort of name. Refuge? Nah, I don't know, home-baked meal? We'll, we'll think of something cool. All right, you sir, what can we do? I need to build a tent. I need people to come to my, my restaurant. I guess I could set up a sign, maybe? All right, let's go adventuring. We're gonna go adventuring. I'm kind of nervous about that. Let's go up here. Over here was a graveyard. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here. It's during the daytime, right? Oh boy. No, it's so quiet here. Okay, I don't see anything particularly useful. Is this all just the same? Oh gosh. So there's other places to explore. I think this is all, look at that flower. I think this is just all the same forest. Okay. What on earth? Uh, do I attack them? No, no, no help. 
I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm stunned. Have I been turned into a zombie? Get out of here. Get out of here. Do I have to like dodge them? Is that what this is? You're supposed to gather up food and lumber. Is that what you're supposed to do? I, I want to dig like I don't know about this. I don't know about this at all. What happens if I come out over here? Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll figure that out eventually. We have a gentleman coming. <sighs> okay, I don't think we're bitten. We should be okay. Hey, I'd like some big corn. All right, what do you got? I want everything you have, sir. I will give you one. Oh, I guess if I have things already prepared, maybe I'll be able to offer him two baked corns. What about all of my potatoes? No, not all of my potatoes. What about my three potatoes and one corn and a baked corn? And then he'll give us a whole bunch of scrap and electronic scrap. So I feel like I want to do a little bit more adventuring too. All right, so let's go ahead and cook ourselves up some baked corn. And I think we also need to make some food storage in here so I can just go ahead and keep food in here as well. Whew, man, that was scary. I hope nobody finds out that we were over there and almost got bit. Cause that was uh, that was pretty not, not cool, not cool. All right, and let's come over. We'll feed this man his baked corn. And then hopefully I have enough of the scrap we can make the tent now. So let's come talk to him again. And I do, yes. All right, did I make a tent? Where is the tent? Did I not have enough? I made a tent? <gasps> I made a tent! All right, we made a tent, you guys. Let's come talk to this guy and see what he thinks about that. The tent looks cozy, I'll take it. All right, so are you coming to help now? What you doing? Oh! Do I have a helper? Sweet! So he's gonna like start harvesting stuff for me. Well, there you go! I approve of that! And here I was complaining about his frivolous behavior. Alright, and I'll even clean up. I still need to give a cool name to our little like... Church corn baking like refuge. Hmm, because I don't want people to get the wrong idea. This isn't a soup kitchen. I'd like some baked potatoes. Baked potatoes. Oh boy. Do I know how to make baked potatoes? Look at all the scrap he has. I want more scrap. How much? How much for all of your scraps, sir? I think I might be willing to part with a bit of corn. Oh right, there we go. There we go. All right, I'm willing to part with three corn, two apples, and a baked potato. All right, let's make an offer. Done. All right, and now do I know how to make baked potatoes? Uh, dish. Potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, uh, I don't think I- I don't think I know how to make baked potatoes, you guys! <laughs> oh no! Okay, hang on! I know a woman who's got a very old baked potato. I'm sure at this point of the zombie apocalypse, you probably don't care. Oh, are those recipes? <gasps> those are the recipes! Oh my gosh! Okay, this is gonna be a little bit brutal trading with her now. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! All right, so we've got the recipe for baked potato. I was wondering why she was just selling like a single baked potato. There I was, questioning. That'll teach me. All right, so let's learn how to make a baked potato. You guys ready? Vegetable ninja, go! Get in there, spuds. No, get back over here, spuds. In the pot, in the pot. This isn't, this isn't a mixed vegetable stew. No, we almost had a corn catastrophe. Oh dear. Oh, okay, there we go. Back to the kitchen. All right, let's go ahead and cook ourselves up some baked potatoes. It looks like I have an excellent assistant over here. He is dutifully collecting everything, so I'm pretty happy about that. <gasps> two? Two people? Now we're starting to talk about this. Hey, I'd like some baked corn. All right, well, why don't you go ahead and give me that empty dish? Because then I could serve more people at once. I'm beginning to get the swing of how this works, you guys. And I'll offer you, how about two potatoes? Two corn? Three corn? Okay, uh, what about that potato? Yeah? No? Oh, um, uh, a scrap? Ah, man, uh, what if I just want your empty plate? <laughs> like, I'm that desperate for an empty plate. No, even one of our precious milk hoard isn't enough. What if I offer you, ah, I have to give him two scrap for that empty plate, but I think it's gonna be worth it. All right, and let's go ahead and we've gotta make some baked corn after we make the baked potato. You probably don't want to make somebody mad in the zombie apocalypse. They've probably already come to a few very questionable moments of morality. So you probably don't want to make him upset. All right. I'm glad we've got this guy working like a little, like, look at him. He's just going, 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 going. He's hard at work, taking care of everything for us. Look at him. He is really taking care of everything. That makes me pretty happy. And I've got a lot of pieces of scrap now. 
Hmm. A chicken coop would be so cool. Oh my gosh. I don't think I need to worry about the sprinkler. I do want some food storage though. That could probably make things a lot easier for me. Slingshot and corn cannon would be so cool. Oh, I would love to have those things. So we're going to have a lot of upgrades, but we're starting to get a little bit of attention here to here at our like end time diner. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. End time is kind of, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want people to be too depressed, no matter what the reality of the situation may be. <gasps> I have another person already. Oh gosh. Well, we're really, we're really on fire. This is awesome. All right. Hopefully baked corn. Do I have that to offer? <gasps> She's got corn seeds. Do I need corn seeds? I don't think it hurt to have some corn seeds again. So I'll go ahead and accept that offer. Come on in, ma'am. I'll make you up some baked corn. I'm on this. All right, so I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty darn peachy. Hmm. Oh, and then, yeah, I thought, no, he's just a visitor. Or he's not a visitor. He's our, he's our, like, helps us, helps us prepare everything guy. So I'm going to have to think about what to call this cafe, because I feel like it needs to be given a kind of a cool name. It is in a church that used to have a chicken here. And let's see, what's this woman want? I'd like some baked potatoes. All right, and I've got one baked potato to offer you. And you're offering me some electronic scrap, which is pretty useful. I'll offer you one apple and one corn. All right, there we go. I'm pretty fair about these things, but really, I, technically, I guess I don't have to be fair. And they want a big potato, did they? All right, we'll make up a big potato. And, oh, I don't have a big potato. Tell me you, oh, thank goodness. I, I'm a little worried that somebody might just completely go absolutely bonkers on us if we don't happen to have the food that they request. So I want to make sure we at least have that much. But I think we're starting to do better. All right, let me, pardon me, I'm just going to wash up this dish. I mean, it's not like we have anybody to make any more fine china, so you got to take care of your dishes. There you go. Probably have to take good care of your clothes too. Oh, I even sliced it up all pretty. Well, very nice, very nice. I like it. All right, you guys. Well, I think our little worker friend has gone off to sleep. I guess a tent would probably be a little bit of a sense of security, uh, even at these kinds of nights. And I wonder if I should build like a gate, like a fence and a gate over here. I really don't like having the forest so exposed. Um, that just makes me super uncomfortable. I think that we're going to end up regretting having that exposed. And we need to fix the fence and get over to Berta. Berta. And I need to put a gate over here too, so I can reach all of these areas. Hopefully zombies don't know how to use gates. I'm pretty sure they're they're not gate savvy, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see indeed. All right, and I will see you guys next time. I've got my axe, I'm ready for the coming night, so we should be fine, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.